Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Fish Tank Madness here at Palmer Aquatics. Hey, you shouldn't be drinking from there. You're going to get Giardia and die. Hey, hey, hey. She probably thinks that's like the best water on the planet. Guys, today I want to talk about aquarium plants turning brown. So I'm by far anything from a specialist when it comes to aquarium plants, but I'm filling this house full of fish tanks, and I also have tons of plants, and I'm learning a lot. So here's what I've learned. If your plants are turning brown, it's probably from a handful of reasons. Number one, it is a nutrient deficiency. Number two, maybe a fish is screwing with it, biting on it. Maybe a snail is screwing with it. Something is physically screwing with the plant or the leaves on the plant. And number three, something is wrong with lighting. You know, but, you know, if it's a lighting issue, chances are the entire plant is probably dying back. So... Let's take a look at some of these plants and I kind of want to talk about some deficiencies that might be occurring on the foliage or the leaves of these plants. When you take a look at your aquarium plant that's dying back or turning brown, I think you need to look at this in two different ways. Is the entire plant looking bad or is it only a certain leaf or a couple of leaves? Is like half of the plant doing well? Because that's a huge deal because... If the entire plant is dying back, something is severely wrong with your light or maybe the substrate or the water. So I'm also finding that a lot of people are using the wrong aquarium substrate for their aquarium plants. You know, if you're using gravel or sand, there's just not a lot of nutrients there to feed your plant. And a lot of times I find that is the biggest key when aquarium plants are turning brown or dying back. In 90% of my planted aquariums, I use potting soil, organic potting soil. A lot of people find that crazy, but it's because a lot of the like super expensive aqua soils are too expensive for me because I have so many tanks, but I still want to give my aquarium plants a lot of nutrients to feed on. If that interests you, you should head on over to my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, because I have a couple videos on doing my DIY dirt setups. They're super easy to do. Chances are, what I'm trying to say is your aquarium plants don't have enough nutrients in the aquarium substrate, especially if they are heavy root feeders because, you know, something like sand or gravel just isn't giving your plants any nutrients, and that's why they're dying back. So I guess the next topic to talk about is lighting. You know, this is kind of a scary thing to talk about as a creator, you know, because there's just so many variables. There's so many brands. It's just like, it's just crazy. You know, some people have beautiful tanks using cheap china lights, whereas other people are preaching you have to get expensive lights, you know. I like to be somewhere in the middle and kind of go with a middle of the road light. You know, don't go with the cheapest, but don't go with the expensivest. It's, uh, or is it a word? Most expensive. Uh, but guys, what most people are screwing up is not giving your plants enough nutrients in the roots. And that's what I'm talking about. Like in the substrate, get yourself some fluval stratum or do a dirted tank, you know, even Seachem's fluorite. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's super high. It's super high in iron and it's kind of just essentially like a gravel with a little extra iron. I don't know. I'm I'm a big fan of the DIY organic soil method as far as substrates. Just give it a try. Hit up my main channel or I'll throw a link to a video in the description box if the dirted tank interests you. And I understand that if your tank already has gravel in it and you're already using plants or you have sand already and you have you can't switch over right now. Your last option is basically to use root tabs, which is essentially kind of like a little tab that you put in your substrate, and it kind of disperses out slowly some nutrients to your plants. This is a good method, but I just, uh, you know, sometimes I find that those root tabs will leach things into the water column as well, and it's also said that root tabs don't, you know, th they let loose the nutrients, they dissolve too fast, which kind of sucks, and that's what makes it get into the water column, but... A lot of people have success with them. Don't let me scare you away. It's just uh, I really like having the substrate nutrient rich because I find that the plants just absolutely love it. God, this tank is so dirty. Like, look at all this algae. I need to get in here. All these plants are looking pretty decent, and I'm telling you, that's because I use aquarium organic potting soil. Well, that's actually not even aquarium. I don't know why I said the word aquarium. Go to your local home improvement store and just grab some organic potting soil. Organic potting soil. Um, I have some videos. I'll throw a link in the description box. And it gets super technical. A lot of times when plants are dying back, you know, there's diagrams on figuring out what colors mean what your plant is deficient in. You know, a lot of times like an Amazon sword, if it has holes in the leaves, a lot of the time it's like a, uh, it's nutrient deprived like potassium. Or sometimes if you're, if you're, if the leaves are turning yellow, the aquarium plant is lacking iron. 
So sometimes you can find root tabs that are like specific nutrient rich in that particular nutrient that you need like iron or potassium. You know, uh, they're called micros and macros. Uh, we're getting super technical here and I'm guessing you're not really looking for that and you're kind of just looking for a fix. Also, maybe what could be the cause is your particular aquarium plant might be a water column feeder where, you know, that it gets most of its nutrients from the water itself. So maybe look into getting a liquid fertilizer, but be very careful and be certain that your plant, your particular plant wants that in the water column. Because if you just add liquid fertilizer to the water and it doesn't need it, a lot of times your algae is just going to blow up like crazy. And then you're going to hate your life even more because your plants are going to be dying back and turning brown. And then you're going to have a buttload of algae. So try to figure out what your plants are feeding. Are they feeding from the roots or the water column? It's a huge deal when trying to figure out how to give your plants adequate nutrients. Hopefully that wasn't too technical and I kind of like tried to make it simple for you guys. You can tell that leaf right there is brown. A lot of times when they die back, they turn transparent. Um, I love these little black algae scrapers, guys. I'll throw a link in the description box. Um, much love here. Hopefully this helped you figure out why your aquarium plant is turning brown and dying back. I'm doing my best here. I know this wasn't like the best guide, but this is kind of tough to do, guys. So, and you got to remember... There's so many moving variables when it comes to aquarium plants. You know, you got the water, the water, the light, the substrate. Um, it just there could be algae on the leaves not allowing the plants to photosynthesize. There's so many variables. Please give this video a like. Woo! -loo.